Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be making a portable outdoor radio. And in this case, what I'm going to be doing is setting this up so I can connect it to my uh, outdoor patio speakers. Basically, what I'm going to use is this uh, plastic container that I bought at Walmart for a battery. It's a car battery uh, container. I have a power supply, 12 volt power supply from a little discarded computer case. And an old car radio. Actually, this is new that I never used. I had it for a car that I ended up selling. So I have this laying around. And you'll need some electrical tape, pliers, wire stripper, a little bit of uh, soldering. And that's about it. So, since the last time, what I've done is I cut out a hole here on the side of this plastic box to insert the casing for my uh, head unit for stereo. On the inside, I basically just cut a piece of uh, two by four just to give it a little bit of support in the bottom. You could probably do some brackets or something like that, but I really didn't want to put any holes on the side because I wanted to keep this as waterproof as possible. But it's, it's pretty strong in there. It looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Just to give you an idea what it's going to look like. I'll stick this in here. So it looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Oh, it's going to look that with the cover on there. That's about it. And then, I also went and bought this waterproof cover. It's like a marine cover that they use for boats for car stereos that they have. Since this is intended to be outdoors, it might be overkill for some of you guys, but it's going to work well for me because I'm going to keep this outdoors to run my outdoor stereo or outdoor speakers. And it'll be something like that. And I'll show you later on after that's installed. And then what happens with this cover, it makes it waterproof and dust-free. And then just pop it open to be able to make the adjustments. So the next thing I'm going to do is I bought these connectors, these speaker terminal connectors. I'm going to put those um, on either side here of the stereo. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe sideways. And I'll be cutting those out. And um, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so... Now, what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to cut out the holes for these speaker terminals. On the back of this, it tells you what the cutout dimension is supposed to be. What I did was, I just made a template of the entire size, and then I also did the cutout of this template, so that way it'll fit the hole that I'm about ready to cut out. And so then what I did was, I put masking tape so that way it'd be easier for me to be able to write and see where I'm getting ready to cut and then I set this template up to basically figure out where I wanted the speaker location to be, a speaker terminal. And I marked the inside part and I did that on both sides. And what I'm about to do is make the hole cut out here so that these terminals can fit on each side. And that's basically what I did in the front too. I, I only used this chassis here for the template itself. So I put the tape there, I put the chassis on there and then I marked the hole and that's what I, how I figured out to do the cutout here. So now I'm about to make the cutout here. So now, as you can see, I've already installed the stereo in here. Here's all the wiring inside. Actually, it works out okay. I just got to figure out a way to keep this in place. But, um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this cover, this marine cover. I just go over the stereo. And this is just like a sticker, so that's a rubber gasket that I will stick on like that. And then I got some screws here that I will install over this. And then I'll, with that, I'll be able to have a, a, a waterproof cover on the front. So rather than bore you watching me stick some screws in this thing, I'll get back to you right after I'm done with this. Okay, so here is my finished product.
basically I uh, installed this cover, this is the waterproof cover I was mentioning earlier. If you see, I also put uh, silicone sealant, probably a little overkill, on this thing. On anything that I cut out. So here are my um, speaker connections that I made and I put some sealant there just to be sure it's waterproof. And this rubber antenna, it's a car antenna that I just got at the auto parts store. Um, and so, and this is also sealed just to make it more waterproof and dustproof. Um, the cool thing about this particular battery case is that they come already built in with vents and they're like two inch overlaps so there's no way the water's going to be able to get inside but it will vent off the, the heat that's put off from the uh, CPU fan and the um, car stereo. That's about it. So, and if you get lucky enough that when you get your stereo, you get one with the remote control on it, you know, makes it even more handy. With no pain, no swelling, no bruising, and no downtime. And that's about it. If you have any questions, just ask me.